Well, folks, welcome back to our show. It's time for our first talk show of the day. But before that, we do have a news that we'd like to cater to you in regards to the talk show too, where the Indonesian Agriculture Ministry has shipped 5,000 doses of rabies vaccine to East and South Tenggara. Where the move comes as the province continues to grapple with rabies emergency. About half of the doses are for South Central Timor Agency, where at least 135 have been affected with the virus with at least one fatality report. Now, the ministry is also providing the region with qualified medical experts to assist in the mass vaccination program. sudah memberikan uh, vaksin sebanyak 5000 dosis uh, kepada provinsi NTT uh, dan uh, jumlahnya 2500 untuk uh, TTS. Namun kami juga akan uh, terus mendukung uh, penambahan vaksin juga. Kita sudah meminta kepada uh, Bank Rabies di Wah atau World Organization of Animal Health uh, di bada, atau Badan Kesehatan Hewan Nasional eh, Badan Kesehatan Hewan Dunia. Uh, kita sudah meminta uh, kepada mereka nanti uh, kita mengirimkan kuesioner uh, nanti kita meminta bantuan kepada mereka untuk pengiriman vaksin ke Indonesia dan saat ini kita tadi sudah melakukan vaksinasi uh, bersama dengan Bapak Bupati uh, dan juga kita nanti uh, akan mendukung juga uh, dengan uh, ada pelatihan pelatihan, ya, pelatihan, ya, pelatihan uh, tenaga tenaga vaksinator karena memang dokter hewan di sini kekurangan dokter hewan jadi kita melibatkan uh, tenaga lainnya. Now we know what's going on right now. Yes. Rabies is uh, still a huge problem here mm -hmm. in Indonesia. And to discuss more about rabies prevention, join us uh, this morning is Kaisar Petker, veterinary clinic vet, Dr. Berlian Widanti. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Thank you very much. Happy Monday. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you for having me. It's a Monday. I forgot. It's a Monday. I know. And it's such an important issue, especially in you know that part of the region in Indonesia. Um, maybe you can also elaborate, because we were just speaking before or yeah. um, we, you know, introduce you. Why is there still such cases right now, especially now as imploring in East New Santa Clara? Yeah, well, uh, rabies itself is a viral disease that uh, transmitted uh, through the bites or the scratch of the infected animals. And the disease itself is, uh, can cause the problem in the central nervous system and the right. brain. Mm -hmm. and it's very fatal and can lead to the death. Mm -hmm. So the transmission itself, is it only by bitten by other animals or how do you Scratches. transmit it to, yeah? Yeah, okay. So uh, the virus itself uh, can transmit it uh, through the bites or the scratch of infected animals because the virus uh, is in the saliva. Mm -hmm. That's why um, it, it should be get directly through the uh, by the bites or the scratch of the infected animals. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there are two causes that yeah. a, an animal can be transmitted, transmitted right? by rabies. Mm -hmm. yeah. But what animals could be could become ra rabies carriers? I mean, we all have pets yeah. uh, here in Indonesia. Uh, what are the signs that they are one of the carriers? Okay, so uh, scientifically, all mammals can carry the rabies virus okay. but if we are talking about the rabies in Indonesia mostly uh, the carrier is dog, cats, uh, primates and bats and uh, well actually all the mammals can uh, trans right. yeah has uh, has the uh, rabies virus right and it's now more spreading in the community because we do have pets right dogs yes. and cats are yep. basically the common pets yeah now what are the signs or the symptoms of a rabies infections that got caught to a human okay well uh, actually we cannot uh, uh, we cannot know mm -hmm. whether our pets is get infected just by looking at them okay. but uh, of course we need to do the laboratory tests however the infected animals uh, can show a strange behavior, okay. like uh, they are becoming more aggressive, like okay. they are trying to bite everything around them, okay. uh, try to bite people, try yeah. to bite other animals, even things, they're mm -hmm. trying to bite everything. And they are, uh, has like uh, an excessive saliv saliva, okay. yeah, yeah, like uh, we call it hyper salivation. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they are, uh, afraid of the light, mm -hmm. uh, we call it photophobic, okay. and they are uh, hydrophobic, 
uh, of rate of uh, water. And those are the indicators yes. if our pets, let's say, uh, those are know, infected. Yeah, those, yeah. Are, those are one of the signs. Yeah. One of the signs and uh, the most uh, important, they uh, become more aggressive. Okay, yes. so that's what we saw. All right. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, we know now if our pets uh, could show signs of a rabies, but is there any signs of rabies infections among humans? Okay. Uh, as long as I know, uh, humans and uh, animals share the same symptoms, share the similar symptoms. Uh, so uh, when the first uh, when the first exposure of the uh, rabies, uh, actually uh, the virus needs to travel first to the brain mm -hmm. before it shows symptoms in the in the human. Yes, okay. Yeah. In uh, and it's called the incubation time, mm -hmm. and the incubation ta uh, time can vary. Uh, it can last like uh, maybe for weeks or months before it shows the symptom. Okay. So the virus needs to uh, travel to the brain first and then they show symptoms. And the first, symst first symptoms, uh, it's just like, like a flu. Okay. Yeah, uh, the infected uh, human maybe feels uh, fever, mm -hmm. lethargy, uh, and some uh, uh, maybe have a sore throat and headache. Right. Yeah, after that, uh, the the symptoms will uh, progress mm -hmm. to the uh, cerebral dysfunction, nerve dysfunction. Yeah. Some uh, may have uh, anxiety. So it's that severe. Yeah. It's not treated. Yeah, and then uh, some uh, may have a seizure, also uh, paralyzed, and they also uh, hyper salivation. For humans too. Yes, okay. and uh, they are uh, photophobic and hydrophobic as well. So if you are being treated, usually after, this is for humans first, if you're being treated uh, with rabies, um, how long is the period for you to get better? Well, uh, like uh, I said before, the virus needs to uh, travel to the brain first. Okay. Yeah, so um, maybe if, if we treat it uh, immediately, uh, we, we hope that the virus mm, won't uh, travel to the brain so the so you're rushing with time right yes there. yes of course I see. okay yeah uh, also the incubation times uh, may vary uh, depends on the uh, so how far yeah. how far the bite uh, location oh. to the brain oh yeah. that's also okay. into it yes so yes, it's different yes. if we uh, uh, probably get bitten in the leg mm -hmm. the arm yeah so the arm is closer to the brain yes oh so that's more severe yeah oh mm -hmm. okay so the, the next thing is that I want to ask, so we don't know if an animal is carrying rabies or not, right? Yeah. So what is the first step if we ever get got bitten by, a, by an animal? Okay. Even if it's our pets or just... Wildlife. If wildlife yeah, travel yeah. to Bali, there's a monkeys around. Yeah. You know, well, what should we do? Okay, so uh, the first thing you can do, uh, uh, two, uh, if you are get by, bitten by uh, the carrier, you can wash your uh, wound uh, immediately uh, with soap, but preferably uh, detergent under the flowing water for 15 minutes. And after that, you can put uh, antiseptic like uh, uh, povidone iodine or 70% of alcohol. And uh, I suggest please uh, seek for help, go to the hospital right. or the local uh, health uh, facility as soon as possible. Right. Just right away after. Yeah. Right away. So the human doctor will decide whether you, you need to get a uh, vaccine. vaccine or anti-rabies serum. Okay. Now, Dr. Brilliant, I, this is a question because we know that there's a lot of our viewers also have a lot of pets, yes. especially if they're new pets. How many vaccination of rabies okay. actually our pets should take? Okay. Or should we also, let's say even, let's say if we just adopted a new dog or a cat, whether have rabies or not, we just you know, vaccinate it as soon as possible. Okay, so uh, of course the best prevention is uh, to get the rabies vaccination. Yes. Uh, let's say uh, we talk about the pet owner, mm -hmm. uh, they should uh, bring uh, their pet uh, to the animal clinic uh, and get the first vaccination of the rabies uh, around like uh, three or five months old. 
and then uh, the pet should get booster, immune booster of the rabies vaccine. Yes. Every year. Oh, it's a year. yearly thing. Yes. It's like a flu yearly. shot for us. Yes, yes of course, oh. for the uh, the rest of their life. Oh, because because you know sometimes people think that we already the pet already has one shot. The only one No, wow. it, okay. we can uh, we should uh, repeat uh, every year. Every year to keep the immunity. Okay, right. nice. Just like us getting booster shots now. Yes, right? in the right? and yeah. the mandatory shots also for children, right? Because the, the children has mandatory shots. We were you were also mentioning actually there are, are a couple of regions in Indonesia that is rabies free. Yes. What are those that that you know of now okay. so far? Okay, as far as I know, the uh, region that rabies free is uh, Jakarta, of Jordan. course. Okay, and then uh, uh, Jakarta, okay. also Riau. And then uh, West, uh, no, Central Java, mm -hmm. and then uh, East Java. And I, I guess uh, there's uh, a couple of them. Yeah, a couple of them. But oh, Papua also, rabies free. Rabies free, okay. Yeah. So, how come those regions can, you know, have mm -hmm. that rabies free okay. um, uh, uh, sectors? Okay. Uh, from Jakarta itself, as far as I know, the government. Uh, has a like a program to maintain the rabies like uh, they do the surveillance every year and also uh, we celebrate a World Rabies Day on September 28th mm. every year right. so uh, the government will give like free vaccination uh. and do a mm. seminar to educate people what they need to That's do right. if uh, they are get bite and uh, uh, the first aid that uh, if they are get infected or something, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I think it's uh, it's important thing. And also, uh, I thank uh, I thank uh, I I want to express my gratitude to see today news to bring thank up so much, yeah to bring up yeah, this issue that. because I think it's it's very important to yes. people to know about yeah. rabies because it's uh, fatal and can lead to death, and uh, maybe some people uh, doesn't know doesn't know about this these uh, importances of yeah. the uh, yeah. this because this is a zoonotic uh, disease mm -hmm. that can spread easily from animal to human there you go so you know we think before it was also those viruses by rabies is really close to home it hits yeah. home and yes. hopefully indonesia soon can be all all parts of indonesia across indonesia can be rabies free yep. yeah Thank you very much hopefully time. Yep, hopefully. Thank you very Thank much, you Dr. Brilliant, for your time and yeah. giving us a lot of great knowledge with that. And also now we know that you have your furry member um, animals, furry member family, by the way, at home. Remember to always get them vaccinated every year every with the year. rabies vaccination. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so anyone, anyway, we're going to take a break right now, but when we return, we'll have more updates from around the world. So stay tuned right here in our show. We'll be right back.